Hello everyone, it's been a while since we've made a Metaverse tutorial, but I wanna say that we've been working on something very, very exciting, and it works seamlessly with Metaverse experiences. It's a new platform and it's called Koji, and there are all kinds of things that you can create that work directly inside of your Metaverse experiences. So you can find Koji at withkoji.com, and you can find all of the different templates that you can add to your Metaverse experiences at withkoji.com slash create, or by tapping on the Explore Templates button at the top right. Now, now, in Metaverse, I'm gonna create a new experience and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add a Koji into your Metaverse experience. So I've made this game example, it's not completely filled out yet, but I just wanna show you what I have here because all of the Kojis work inside of this web view scene. And all you gotta do once you create your Koji is you add a link to this web view scene. And so I have an intro scene here. It says, let's play a game. I've already designed it. And we have it linking to the web view scene here. Now, when we're inside of Koji, we can explore all of the templates again by tapping on that explore templates button here at the top right. And from here, you're gonna be able to see all of the different things that you can create. We've got a bunch of different tools, Oh, we're gonna dive into the games here because there are a bunch of really fun, really interactive games that you can add to your metaverse experiences. But keep in mind, you can add any Koji to your metaverse experience and it's super easy and it's super quick to make. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna uh, find a game here. Maybe we'll have this uh, Invaders game. That's always a fun one. And this is just like a classic uh, Invaders game. It's the, the classic game you know and love, um, and it works. It's shareable via a link anywhere online, which means it works inside of that web view scene that we were talking about inside of your Metaverse experience. So to create your game or your any Koji, you'll tap on the Remix button here, and then you'll be able to enter into the Remix screen. And when you get to the Remix screen, you'll be able to customize all sorts of different things. You can customize the title, so we're gonna add Metaverse plus Koji equals, wow, amazing. Okay, now we have the ability to change our player and change all of our enemies and change the background similar to how you would a regular uh, Metaverse scene. So let's go ahead and change the player out. I'm going to upload uh, my own uh, image and you can also have the ability to add an image from tons of different asset packs that are available on the Koji platform. So for example, I'm gonna go into this animated emoji um, and I'm gonna add a an emoji like this uh, this uh, laughing emoji, that's a good one. So let's go ahead and add a few enemies in here and maybe we'll keep it going with the emoji theme. So I'm gonna continue going into that asset pack that says emojis and for this one, maybe we will add um, a barf emoji because nobody likes to be, uh, you know, barfing. We'll add a, another emoji here. Let's see what we can find. Let's go ahead and this one will maybe go with uh, a fire emoji. Um, and then for the last one, we'll go ahead and switch it up one more time and we will go into the emoji asset pack. And again, there are thousands of different assets you can choose from. This is just one of my favorite asset packs and we'll go in and maybe we'll uh, use this skull emoji because uh, you know, it's a skull. <laughs> okay, so now let's go ahead and change the background here. Uh, I can go back in and I'm gonna go into the Giphy background section and I'm just gonna type something. We can search for all kinds of different things. I'm gonna type something like uh, pattern. We'll see what comes up. So we've got all sorts of different interesting patterns and these have a lot of motion to them. So maybe I'll type something like chill and see what, what pops up here. Okay, so we've got a bunch of uh, chill backgrounds here that we can choose from, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose this uh, this one with Pikachu in it because that one looks really cool and it, there's not much motion in it so it'll look nice in the background. Um, and we can also choose our game music and we have uh, the ability to upload our own sounds just like in Metaverse or we can browse the asset packs. We have integrations with freesound.org and with SoundCloud so you can go ahead and find any song you want on those uh, two different services. There's a lot of different uh, sounds to choose from. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this uh, Legend of Zelda 8-bit uh, adventure here. Let's go ahead and save it. 
and then we're done. We've customized our entire uh, game here. So we're gonna tap on preview and that's gonna give us a preview of our Koji that we've created. We can tap publish. Once we tap publish, what you can do from here is you can tap on the Koji button, you can tap on the share button, and then you'll have access to share it anywhere. And what we wanna do is copy this link here. So when I tap on copy link, I'll be able to open up a new tab and you'll see that the link uh, is already copied onto our clipboard. So when I go into my metaverse experience, I'll then tap on the web view scene here and then I can just paste the website URL here and we'll say transition to scene and we will end the experience. And so this might be a really cool reward uh, for completing an activity in metaverse. Like maybe if they get five questions right in a, a breakout exercise, they get to play a game and leave their name on the high score and the person with the high score gets some sort of prize or something like that. So there's a lot of cool things you can do uh, on the metaverse platform and it's not just games. There are all kinds of different templates that you can choose from. Uh, just tap on explore templates and you can see all of the different things that you can create uh, on the Koji platform and use them inside of your metaverse experience. Okay, so we are done creating our Koji game example here. Now let's go ahead and publish our metaverse experience. We'll tap on the publish button. We've got our experience name here and we'll go into advanced settings and I'm just gonna make this public. I'm gonna let anybody clone this so that you can clone this and see it for yourself and maybe we'll uh, just tap on publish and then let's check it out inside of metaverse. Okay, so now I'll just tap on scan code at the very top of our metaverse app and I will scan the QR code and we'll see what it looks like inside of metaverse. So here we have our Koji game example, we'll tap to open and then we will open up our metaverse experience. So it says let's play a game and we can tap on enter game and now the web view inside of metaverse will load and we can play the Koji game that we created. You can create this from mobile, you can create this on desktop, there are a lot of different ways that you can utilize Koji um, to engage folks that you're trying to engage. So thank you so much for watching, um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. You can also learn more about Koji by visiting withkoji.com. We have new templates that you can use in your metaverse experiences each week. We have a Discord going, so if you have ideas for templates you'd like to see and templates you'd like to use in metaverse, let us know by joining joining our Discord. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.